So I started looking into getting a 3D printer just because I wanted to make some gadgets and just, you know, do some creative work with it, you know, whatever. Obviously 3D printers, they cost a little bit, probably in the two to $300 range for a good new one. So I went on eBay to see if there were any used ones that were cheap and honestly, not really. However, I came across Creality's official refurbished storefront where you can buy Creality printers, such as, you know, their Ender line of printers for refurbished for much, much, much cheaper. I bought this Ender 3S one that I have for a whopping $110. There's a heated build surface, the direct extruder, and pretty decent print quality right out of the box. So I ordered it, and within two days, it already came in, it was super quick. The printer was packaged as if it was brand new. You honestly couldn't even tell, aside from it maybe not coming with the instruction. So yes, I did have to look up a YouTube video of how to assemble it, the instructions are missing, but not a big deal. Every accessory, every tool, everything except the printer itself was brand new. First red flag, it did not come with a power cable. Now I do tech stuff, I obviously had a power cable, it's just a standard PC power supply cable which looks like that. Didn't come with one, the refurbished one. I don't know if none of them come with it or it was just mine. No big deal. I went, I got a cable. I assembled it, which probably took 10-15 minutes. Um, you just have to take the like upper gantry part and put it onto the base and like I said, that only took like 10-15 minutes, and they include all of the tools. This is a little insert that I made for the tool drawer, but everything that you see here pretty much came with it. Including a spare little switch. I don't know if this is for the filament runout sensor, or if this is for like one of the motors to like know if it's maxed out, because both of those switches look like that, but it comes with a spare one. I got it all together, and then I realized the plug for the x-axis motor was missing. It just wasn't there. Let me go grab the wiring harness and show you. So this is the harness that came on my Ender 3S1 that I bought refurbished. So this end plugs to the main board that's inside the printer, you can't see this. This end connects to the end of your extruder, the actual part that prints. And then whenever you go further down, this is supposed to connect to the x-axis motor. This is exactly how it came. So out of the box, already unusable. But it's not that big of a deal because they include a two year warranty. So I contacted Creality and then they sent a brand new cable. Now, truth be told, I bought this before they even sent it over because I didn't want to deal with the warranty, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I bought this, it was probably about $15. I put it on and then they sent the replacement under warranty, which took about two weeks. I just went and ordered it from them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. But anyway, now I have a spare. Um, apparently this is something that can break easily apparently unless that's just how they decided to package it the, the connector was nowhere inside the box it just uh yeah anyway this wiring harness for the extruder and all that basically came damaged printer wouldn't work out of the box finally got this changed and you know now we can print a little example of something that i printed this is a drill holder that you attach with like some wood screws to the battle mill workbench and then you can put your drill in there and just holds it just like that. And it works with pretty much all drills um, that are like standard size. And without changing any settings, the print quality is, you know, honestly came out pretty fine. But here came the next issue. Obviously it printed this, it came out fine. There's a lot of, you know, I'm pretty sure this is called ribbing. Obviously the model isn't like that. This is uh, just how it printed. And I couldn't figure out why. And one day, the printer just seemed really loud. I didn't understand why. And it was the Y axis motor, which is the one that's in the rear of the printer. And I was like, that's a little louder than it's supposed to be. And so instinctually I touch it. Instantly I burn myself. After about 10 seconds of research, I find out that even though they're hot, they're not supposed to be hot to the point where you can't even touch them. Brings us to a new motor. These motors are like 10, 15 bucks. And obviously if you buy a refurbished printer from Creality, it comes with a two year warranty. So they'll cover all this, but the Y axis motor, which is the one that is on the back of the printer and moves things like this on mine, it was pretty damaged and it was literally like burning up. Like I couldn't touch it without burning myself. And the only reason that I even thought to check it is because this motor was just making super loud grinding noises. I don't think I have any videos of that or whatever, but like, just know that I was able to hear it from a different room. So, so far we've had to change a stepper motor, a wiring harness, 
and as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that's it, but it did have some cosmetic damage, just a gigantic dent. Once again, this was 110 bucks, which I think was a decent deal, but I honestly could have afforded the brand new one. I just was a little curious, you know, what I would get for this price. And what I got was needing to work on it a good bit. So if you're thinking about getting a printer, this um, Ender 3S1 that I got refurbished, honestly, I think is a good value. However, in my particular case, I had to change not one, but two parts on it to get it working right. The printer simply wouldn't even do prints without this part being changed. This part was just super loud and you know, you could I could tell that it was going out. But with this wiring harness being damaged, it uh, you actually couldn't get it to do anything. But if you want to take that risk, I can leave the link in the description. Not sponsored, I bought this with my own money. Um, but if you want to look at Creality's refurbished stuff, they have a whole storefront on eBay, but like I said, it's a gamble. They do have a warranty, something goes wrong, you can tell them what broke, but it is a little bit of a gamble. And I've printed a couple of things, like obviously the go-to is a Benchy, and you can see that the layering is horrible, because this was before I changed the motor, and it just was not doing that great. But I've made a couple of these drill holders, I'm going to put them in my little workshop. I've got a little Benchy that I made just to kind of test it. This was actually the very first thing I printed, which is why it doesn't look phenomenal. A little tool tray for the tool drawer that actually goes in the printer. And my latest thing is this is part of the Doom Slayer's chest plate. And this is just the right hand side, like if it's facing you. Um, I have the other half printing right now, which I could probably throw a clip up of that. And now that I've gotten most of the issues with this printer resolved, it actually came out pretty nice. Obviously, I'm going to need to paint it. There's a lot more pieces left to this, but now that I got all of the issues figured out, like how this motor was going out and it was kind of skipping and giving me issues like this ribbing, now I can move on to printing much bigger things that obviously are a lot more complicated. For anyone who's curious, this half took about 12 hours to print, and the other half is slightly different, and that one's like 14 hours, something like that. Refurbished ones are definitely a good value, but you're gonna wanna be handy in case there's anything broken on them. So just wanted to share that with you guys if anyone else has been on the edge about getting a 3D printer and they wanna look at the refurbished ones for cheap. But like I said, mine had a couple issues. So anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for stopping by, that's all for me. I'm out, peace.